The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, you, Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So it happens usually to little children, little bitty children. It's time to go to bed. The mom and dad will say the beautiful little night prayers to the child by the bed, give him a kiss, tuck him in, turn out the lights. Then a few moments later, maybe from the bedroom sometimes, you'll hear some whimpering. Sometimes it'll be outright screams. There's a monster under the bed. Or the monster's in the closet. And there's terror on all sides for the little child. And one of the common ways to cure the terror is simply for mom to come into the bedroom and turn on a soft light. Or perhaps maybe the favorite stuffed animal. And Jesus asks the apostles this Sunday, why are you terrified? Yesterday, after the tropical storm Claudette, I bolted out of bed and made my way down to the kitchen and turned on WLOX News. I wanted to see what happened to us. Up pops the live action reporter, young man, reporting live from Pascagoula. And the young man was in a neighborhood. You could see the houses on both sides in the camera with a flooded street. And he said that the water on the street in some places was four feet high. And of course, the reporter warned about the dangers of driving through it. But then he paused and he began to warn people not to wade in the water because it's full of snakes and there could be alligators in the, in the water. Gee whiz, I thought to myself, those poor people who live there. <laughs> and Jesus asks us this morning, why are you terrified? I don't, I don't personally... <laughs> I'll share a little bit about myself. I don't like to fly. I just don't like it. And I've done, over the course of my priesthood, I've, I've been required to fly a lot. Usually, it was associated with my work and vocations for many years. And after Hurricane Katrina, for two years, I traveled the whole country, raising funds for my destroyed parish, all over the place. 
And I can tell you, when I fly, if there's a little bump, here come the Hail Marys, whole rosaries. And if, then we, if, we, if, I, if we ever get into real turbulence, you know, where the plane will move, I say multiple acts of contrition. I, it scares me, and I don't like to fly. And Jesus asks me, Dennis Carver, why are you terrified? The gospel this morning is like watching a movie. <laughs> and it says a violent squall came up. We're familiar with that on the Gulf Coast. You know those afternoon pop-up thunderstorms on the water? And then it says that the boat was filling up. It was sinking. And the apostles, now these are grown men, they yell out to Jesus, we're going to die. It doesn't matter if you're seven years old or 70 years old. Fear is very real at all ages in life, to all of us, to me and you. And I would suggest for you to consider that Jesus of Nazareth, in his humanity as a human being. Yes, he was God, but he was also a human being. That Jesus had to experience moments of fear in his life. Especially, look, Jesus was a manual laborer. The scripture call, scholars called Jesus' work tekton, T-E-K-T-O-N. It's an Aramaic word that means a daily laborer. And Jesus, this man, in his radical message of the Father, was confronted and criticized by very powerful people. And don't you think that scared him? But because he was so close to the Father, he overcame his personal fears. And so must we, every one of us. What are you afraid of? And look, there are no monsters under the bed. And I've read that flying is the safest way to travel in the world. All of us have to realize that we're faced with difficulties, sometimes with dangers, challenges in life, and yes, those can be fearful. So, you know, it says in the gospel that Jesus rebuked the waves and rebuked this, the wind. That's beautiful language. But I think what Jesus really rebuked, what he fussed at, was fear. And he told the fear and the, terror and the terror, be quiet. Who is this whom even fear and terror would obey? 